Take it. Take it. Oh, missed it. That'll get you a little. Oh, come on, come on. Woo! Oh, yeah. That's what we're after. Man, this is nothing but pure Northwoods crappie fishing. At least you got a meal out of it, eh, buddy? What? Oh, hi, Tom Servo. Where in God's green earth did this lake come from? I've never noticed a lake behind the neutron capacitor before. A lake on the satellite of hell? Who ever heard of a lake on a spaceship before? Oh, hey, would you look at that? These beefy little guys, they act like they've never even encountered a hook and line before. And you can't beat the action fishing from a sit-on-top kayak like this one. A sit-on-top is more like a long, narrow raft with a shallow depression for sitting on top of the kayak rather than encased within the shell like most kayaks. Part of the design, lending stability, I believe, are small holes called scupper holes that let water in and out, so one does tend to get a little wet. That's why sit-on-tops are more common in coastal warm water settings. However, that's beginning to change as people realize the incredible value of these little skiffs and the accessibility they offer to low water situations. And as you can see, the amazing thing about these kayaks is how incredibly stable they are. What are they? I say they're, they're incredibly stable. Oh. You can climb around on them, sit sideways. Why, they're so stable, it's even possible to stand up. Pro. 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 Tom, I'm going to go get a bag of leeches. Catch and release. Plymouth Rock, Pocahontas, Scurvy. I'm sorry, Tom. I see nothing here about a clown and Thanksgiving. Well, it is a pretty old world book we found. Keep looking. I know I saw it somewhere. Okay. Cornucopia, sweet potato. Um, the northeast consists of the Korat Plateau, bordered to the east by the May... Oh, wait, this is Thailand. Oh, maybe they have clowns in Thailand. Maybe you ought to go to Thailand. Football. Let's see. Lauren Green hosting the Macy's Parade. Maze. Sorry, no clowns. Face lock, recalibrate, thank you. Hey, Gypsy, have you seen my... Oh, what are you doing? Oh, hi, Tom. I'm just calibrating the external thermal couple. It's a once-a-month thing. Ah, and what's the temp outside? It says, current temperature is minus 265 degrees Fahrenheit, but it feels like minus 270 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, minus 265 always feels a lot colder than it is. They are so right. Tom, if it feels like minus 265, why don't they say it's 265 and leave it at that? Oh, um, oh well, that's because minus 265 feels a lot more like minus 270. And so what you're saying is nothing ever feels like it is. Bingo. There's always an offset, baby. Oh, I gotta go start another load of laundry. It was good to see you. And just so you know, good to see you feels like it was great to see you to me. Oh, ah, 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 Tom, you crack me up. And crack me up feels to me like I highly amuse you. Uh, um, Tom, that's enough. And that's enough feels like that's more than enough. Oh, brother. And brother feels like, seriously, you should really quit it. It wasn't funny to me to begin with, and it certainly hasn't gotten any funnier as you've continued speaking.
That looks like fun. Solitaire, I mean. Right. Seven on the eight. Queen on the king. Yeah, I would play. But I got these, uh, you know. What? Non-functional arms. Oh. For the most part. Tough break. Yeah, it is. None on the ten. Bring that ace down. Open that one up again. No, not that one. Do the six on the seven, because you have a better chance of getting a major card out of the stack. And anyway, you need to uncover the big pile if you're going to get anywhere. You might even get a four, which is key to unlocking. You know, I forgot about this critical e event. I need to, to do over here. But if you would just move the six on the seven, the potential is enormous. I've got to see what would happen if you move the six on to the seven. Stupid immobile, non-functional, stupid arms. Both of them. <laughs>